All right, the do-it-yourself housewife is on another project. Actually, I'm just gonna give you a quick first impression on these Easy On gutter guards that you can get at Costco. Here's a picture, and that is what they look like. Um, I'm installing them because we have these big maple trees and the leaves all get blown into our gutters. I don't wanna have to deal with that this year because last year I installed some heat tape and I don't want to have to compete with my heat tape and digging out helicopters and getting the asphalt sand in here so you can see these are this is the underside so they kind of have like a lip one side you shove under kind of your shingles and the other side kind of slips in behind your uh, lip of your aluminum gutters you can also use this adhesive tape to stick them onto the surface of your your gutter um, or they give you also some self-tapping sheet metal type screws i have chosen to do neither of them because i'm going to kind of test them out this season um, to see how well they do with the snow and ice and the rain and whatnot we have had an issue with ice dance. There's my heat tape. I'll do another video about that later, but um, this is really easy. You need a big flathead screwdriver, some tin snips, a uh, Sharpie to do your outside or inside corners. Um, and me, I'm not one. There's a lot of videos that say that you can, you know, bend these if you want to wrap them on the inside of the gutter and then have them. I'm not doing that. I just want to be able to slip it underneath the roof shingles, abut them together at the seams, and slide it and click it into place. And I'm not gluing these down because I haven't had them for a season yet. So I mean here you can just see like I'm taking my screwdriver and just kind of lifting up the edge of my shingles. and. You can kind of just start flipping them in and then you'll like slide it on up you might have to crimp down one of the ends there like so you might have to lift this in several places but essentially it locks into place like so well you get the idea so it'll slide up underneath there and then you can kind of adjust it in place this is really easy to do. I've just been chunking it out. It's been really hot here in the summertime. Um, it's taking me, you know, up and down the ladder, up and down the ladder, like a half an hour a box. If, and that's taking my time. So I've kind of, I'm gonna finish up this end here. And I've already, I don't know that you can or can't see it, but I have done around the corner. But that's what it looks like. And they, it is pretty fine. And so you won't have the asphalt sand dropping into that either. Um, I'm gonna be keeping an eye out though. Like you, I think at some point you are gonna have to maybe dust this off. And I wanna see how it performs in the winter with that heat tape that I have underneath there. So that's why I personally have not stuck it or drilled it to like permanently secure it on. Um, my first impressions are, yeah. Um, so far so good. Maybe in the winter time I'll follow up with an update or maybe in the spring kind of see how they weathered through. Um, right now they're on sale at Costco for about 60 bucks a box for six of them. And so far it's taking me um, one, two, three boxes to do kind of around the perimeter of our three car garage. I bought a few more to go around that left the right side of the house and I might attempt to get behind the house on the second story I mean you don't see any up here but there is some gutter a little bit of gutter on the other side where there's a big tree and I don't want to have to deal with that um, so yeah I'd, I, right now I'd recommend it um, I'll follow up with a video either in the winter or spring and let you know what my afterthoughts are